empowering and educating nurses who want to really maximize their income so they can work less and do what they love more. And furthering your education is one of the many ways that you can do that. Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday, or should I say happy Cyber Monday, because I don't know about y'all, but I've already bought a couple of things and I just woke up, (laughs) but I'm definitely going to be looking at some cheap flights. I love to travel. And speaking of cheap flights, one of the craziest deals I've ever gotten was a ticket to Costa Rica. It was nonstop and it was only $49. Like that deal was so good. I just had to take it. It was a solo trip and I only planned to stay there for a couple weeks. But the crazy part about it was I loved Costa Rica so much. I ended up staying there a couple of months. I went to Spanish immersion school out there. So I was able to learn a new language and I even finished my master's degree while living there. Which is what brings me here today because I got my master's degree in a very untraditional way, but that, (laughs) if you follow me on Instagram, you know that's just me. I don't do anything traditional. (laughs) That's exactly what I'm here to talk to you guys about because I feel like so many nurses really want to advance their degree, but they also at the same time feel like it's not achievable for them or there's not a program that's right for them. So if you're one of those nurses, I'm here to tell you that there's hundreds of programs to choose from, so I'm sure that there's a program that's the right fit for you, and you might be surprised at how flexible these programs are and how affordable they can be. This is actually a two-day takeover, so that means I have plenty of time to answer pretty much anything and everything when it comes to nursing, advancing your degree, travel nursing, or even labor and delivery, so drop your questions below. And I'm thinking I might even go live like tonight or maybe tomorrow when I get off work. Um, Let me know what you guys think about that. And in the meantime, while you guys are putting in questions, I'll let you know a little bit about me. So I am a labor and delivery nurse. I've been a nurse for about eight years now and I've been traveling for about five years. So I've actually been traveling longer than I ever was a staff nurse and no, I do not plan on stopping anytime soon. As far as assignments go, I have licenses in my home state, which is Texas, California, Florida, U.S. Virgin Islands, and Hawaii. So obviously, I really like warm weather, and I run from winter. Right now, I'm currently in Houston, Texas, working at one of the busiest labor and deliveries in the U.S. They do about a 1,000 deliveries a month, which is pretty crazy, but I love high-risk high volume labor and delivery, so it was perfect for me. Um, And I also love working in Houston. This is actually my third time coming out here. It's really close to Dallas, so I'm able to drive home during the holidays, so I really love it. And the weather is decent, the winters aren't too harsh. So yeah, I love my career as a travel nurse. It gave me the freedom to travel when I want, along with the autonomy to choose when and where I want to work, which is actually how I was able to complete my master's degree while living in Costa Rica. So I cannot wait to tell you guys all about my journey to my MSN because it's a very interesting story to say the least. I'll tell you guys how I chose my program, why I chose a particular program, and how I ended up in Costa Rica. And I'm thinking I might even go live like tonight or maybe tomorrow when I get off work. Um, Let me know what you guys think about that. And in the meantime, while you guys are putting in questions, I'll let you know a little bit about me. So I'm going to tell you guys why I chose to go for my master's degree at the time that I did. I had been a nurse for about two years. And to be honest with you, I just did it because I felt like that was the thing to do. So that's my only regret about getting my master's degree is like, don't do it because everyone else is telling you to or you feel pressured or it's the right time. Like, go and get your master's degree because you figured out what you're passionate for and that's what you really want to do. So I actually ended up choosing to get my MSN in leadership and management um, for a couple of different reasons. I knew for sure that I did not want to do bedside nursing forever, so I immediately knew I didn't want to do FNP. So at the time, leadership and management was actually perfect for me because I did not see myself doing bedside. I really wanted to do something that was like 9 to 5, in the office, weekends off, not as strenuous as 12-hour shifts, but also 
that particular degree gave me the flexibility to move up the ladder at my current workplace, which was something that I really wanted to do. And it would give me the opportunity to teach because previously um, I taught a class at the University of Arlington called Introduction uh, to Nursing. And that's when I realized how passionate I was, not only for teaching, but specifically uh, like empowering nurses to maximize their nursing career. So I was like, well, I may be a clinical instructor or something like that. So pretty much putting all of those factors together, leadership and management seems like the perfect fit for me. And some of you may be wondering, like, well, why didn't you get your MSN in education? So um, one of the things I ended up doing was you can get a master's in leadership and management, and then you can get a certification in education. So it's the best of both worlds. So the program I ended up choosing to go to was Western Governors University. Um, I compared several different factors, and I basically chose WGU because, number one, it was... 100% online, which was really important to me. I was working full-time as a nurse, so I needed something that was flexible. And speaking of flexibility, one thing that I really loved about WGU was that um, it was self-paced. You even scheduled your own tests. So the entire time that I took my master's degree, I actually was never stressed out at any point in time because I scheduled my own test. So like if I worked like a three day stretch, I didn't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I have to study. I'm stressed about this. Like, no, I just wouldn't schedule my test until I had some time off to study. So that was huge. And also WGU was extremely affordable. Um, It was about $3,500 $3,500 a semester, and their semesters were six months long, and you could do as many classes as you wanted in those six months. So, like, there are some people who finished their master's degree in just one year, and basically $3,500 a semester, that's $7,000 for your master's degree, and most master's degrees are anywhere between twenty to thirty k So for me, cost was a huge factor, which is one of the main reasons why I went ahead and jumped into WGU. Um, But at the end of the day, there is hundreds of programs, and it's really important for you to compare the programs and see what is best for you in your specific situation. And nurse.org has made it very simple for you guys. They have a new nurse education center, and there is so much valuable information on there. You just click the link in the bio, and you can scroll through all your options. Okay, you guys, I actually just got off of Instagram Live. I answered a ton of questions, so make sure you watch it before it expires. Um, I'm still continuing this takeover until tomorrow. I'll be at work so you can see like a sneak peek of what it's like to be a labor and delivery nurse. So if you have any questions about labor and delivery, definitely send them in. I'll be happy to answer. And that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. So today was an absolute crazy day at work. Um, The thing about labor and delivery is when you walk in, you do not know what you're going to get. So you may walk in and do an induction of labor, which is usually calm, cool, and collected because the patient is just walking in. She's not in labor. It's scheduled. Um, You may walk into a patient that is pushing, screaming her head off, ready to deliver. You may walk into a patient who is already delivered, so she's postpartum, and so you're taking care of the mom and baby. You may be the C-section nurse that day, so you may have to pre-op your patient and take them to the um, C-section area and work in the operating room. You may start off in the PACU, or you just may get a train wreck. So, of course, I walked in today, and my patient was pretty sick, so I was busy from the very start of my day until the very end. But at the end of the day, 
It was a healthy mom and a healthy baby, so I really can't complain. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this takeover. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you have any questions about travel nursing, nursing in general, feel free to follow me on my personal Instagram at Sarah underscore Gaines.